Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here, and welcome to my, uh, I'm not really sure what kind of house it is, tutorial. I really like this build. It's similar to my mansion build, but it's, it's a little bit smaller, so I thought I'd create it for you guys, just so you guys can enjoy it. It has a really nice backyard, villa sort of area, with a nice grill, a nice fridge, all that fancy stuff. I'll show you the top of it in a second. We got a nice bedroom up here with some nether wart illegally growing, and all of that stuff, so let's give a little bit of a... 360 fly around so there's the roof right there. There's the burning thing and I'll teach you how to make everything on this build and There's a little bit of farm. So yeah, let's get started All right, so for this build you're gonna need any form of sandstone I prefer the smooth sandstone spruce wood spruce wood slabs and spruce wood stairs and this again for is just for the exterior I'll get to the interior in a moment here So I've kind of built the frame because it's an extremely hard house to do a tutorial on so how you do this is you go one two three four five up and in between here there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gap. So it is eight. So build your supports right here, and of course right here, and then build them five high. And then on the sides here, you want to do it. So measuring the distance from log to log, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is basically uh, eight by nine where the logs are, including the logs. Logs are the corners of eight by nine and you build them up five high and you will get something like this and now one below the five high so leaving one up you go ahead and place logs sideways like this and then you will have sort of a structure like this with all the logs around it and then on the top of the logs here uh, with the same height as this one go ahead and place one upwards and then diagonally connect it and then connect two then diagonally click diagonally connect it again say that three times in a row extremely fast and right here, you just do your doors. So how you do that is you just build two up, like that. And then you build two, like that. And then build this under, and then place your doors. Pretty simple. So you will need doors for this build, of course. And then the sandstone goes inside of this, like so. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this, because I have not done it yet. You just kind of fill in all of the sandstone, and we will get to what you take out in a moment here. So let's just fill it all up. And now that we're all filled up, it's time to do the roof. Don't kill me here. Okay, so I messed up on the roof on the first take. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. So break this sandstone. You do not need that there. And just go ahead and do this. So place them right there. Then your slab. And then do this and kind of bring them over. So I'm going to basically just... I mean, there's, there's nothing to really tutorialize right here. You just place your stairs like a normal uh, pointed roof. Um, I'm gonna repeat this on the other side and then just come right back because I don't want to bore you guys. And voila, it's done. Now you have a roof on your house. So the next step is to do the windows. So I've already kind of marked out the windows here and they're fairly simple to build. You just build it up one, two, then build it diagonally up again, diagonally up again, and go ahead and just cut into your cross beam right there and connect it like that. Fairly simple to do, you're doing right there, nothing on the back, nothing on this side, and that's pretty much it. So you just have one window right here, and how you do them is, you know, fairly simple. You just kind of break in here, and grab your window panes, or window blocks, does not matter to me. Go ahead and grab your panes, and place them in here, like so. And now you have a pretty full window that's outlined, and it has a lot of depth, and ooh, I just like it. Um, so the interior is fairly simple, but before we get on to the interior, let's go ahead and do that. So just add your glass right there, and add your glass right there. And the reason I'm leaving this open is because this is where the courtyard will go. Uh, we should probably do the courtyard, court, court, we should probably do the courtyard roof right now. So I'm going to go learn how to do that again, I'm sorry, and we'll get, we'll do that together. So let me go memorize the design and come right back. All right, so I built half of it, so I don't really have to go over there. So the first thing is to go ahead and bring this over, and then bring it two down. So just bring it over one, start, see how this is five high? You go up this high, and then you just kind of bring it over, so you're leaving one sort of log up. And then on the tops of those logs, you just kind of connect them and bring them over and do the same thing. And then from right here, it's just a matter of building them up. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get them to sort of go up one half slab but it's, it's totally worth it. So you just bring them up one layer so it's sort of still connected, and then bring over, uh, here, let me just break this since I didn't explain really how to do that. 
Uh, one, two, three, four blocks from the edge of your uh, house on this log. So it's the right side like this. You want to bring it up one, two, three. Uh, you want to bring it up four because this one is four high too. And you want to put a slab on top of it. Oh, that's not the right kind of slab. You want to put a slab on top of it. Bring it up once, diag once diagonally. And then once more like that. And then connect it over. And then when you're done with that, just connect them. Or no, do not connect them. Bring this one back. So this should be too long. Sorry if I'm explaining this weird. This should be too long. And then this should just connect from there. And the roof will end up looking like this. So if you guys want to see a sort of a side design, I'm going to slowly go around. Make sure you checked your guys and got, got this all right. The reason I'm not giving the length right here, it should be the length of your support beams on the corner of your house. And that is pretty much that. We will get to the backyard in a moment here. I do have a separate tutorial on just the backyard if you guys would like to view that. Uh, I won't throw a link in the description. It's probably the video uploaded the day before this. So let's get to the interior. The interior is a fairly minimalistic interior, but I still like the way it looks. So right here, you're going to throw down a door because this is where you're going to enter your courtyard area. So boom, let's throw a door down here. And on the inside, I like to do a oak wood floor. Actually, on the inside right here, I do a stone brick flooring, sorry. And so let's just do that all in here. Keep in mind, I've already placed a couple of things just to help me kind of memorize where to put stuff. But I assure you, I will explain everything. <laughs> so when you get in here, it'll just be kind of a blank interior that'll look like this. Uh, the first thing I like to do is just, you'll have a doorway like this, put your slabs there, then bring them one up like this, and then this is the height of your next floor. So go ahead and just kind of mark that out, and boom, you're done. Um, right here, let's just do the staircase before I forget. Build this up so it's the same height, then do it once more, so boom, once more, and make sure you break only the ones you need to, that one too. And one more time. Oh, one more time. I, I'm messing up all over. Break this the same height. Do it once. No. Nope. Dang it. Once more and once more. And then you're basically, you basically have your staircase. That's pretty much it. Uh, actually, the top of this one, the instead of a half slab, you can't really tell the difference. It's going to be a bookshelf because right here we have an enchanting table. And I, oh. We have an enchanting table. I like to either use a piece of glowstone or one of those fancy uh, pyramid dealies. I just kind of like to have some light there. And bring this up right here. So this is sort of the support beam for the stairs. Go ahead and bring it up all the way to there and you can place that there. And right here, you're gonna wanna bring this up. Uh, well, we'll do that in a moment. So now that you have your interior, that's pretty much the bottom floor. You can go ahead and add a pot here and throw in your flower. And that's pretty much that. And this is your bottom floor. You guys can add chests wherever you'd like, right here. Like there's some chests. Or you guys can add something over here. I don't know. I just like a minimalistic interior. Up here, we're gonna throw down our bed. So let's grab a bed. And the bed will go right here. And I believe right here is where the nether wart farm is. So we'll go ahead and mark that off. And go ahead and grab your soul sand. Boom. And your nether wart and that is the nether wart farm and then right here i believe i had a stair like that and then i had another a little pot on it with i think this one actually had a blue orchid so let's go ahead and just do that and just sort of a garden-esque area here so you have a beautiful view from your bed you can see the nice ideas world or whatever your world has and up here you can just go ahead and grab some furnaces and do sort of a, a furnace type thing and then you can get a crafting table and you can place the crafting table this is not my best interior obviously but you guys can do something with the interior I'm not to, I, I haven't really thought about a design for the interior in here I just wanted to kind of give you guys the basic idea of the house and also if you don't like how that is sort of there you can grab the full spruce block and place it where you see the sandstone on the sides of course right there it's sort of difficult to do so you just don't do it or kind of fix it if you don't like it. I personally like it. And now you have your staircase. So this is basically your interior. I'm going to grab some torches so I can light this area up. 
Boom, boom, and let's see. Where should we put torches up here? Right there, and then right there. Yeah, well, actually, we'll just do it up there on that side and on that side so it's symmetrical. And then we have two above. No, we just have two right there. This is good enough um, for lighting wise, and I really like this interior. So let's get to the little backyard area. I'm going to grab some materials, and I shall be right back. All right, so the backyard design is just going to take some stone stairs. You're going to need some glowstone, which I forgot to grab here. Uh, by the way, those are infinitely burning furnaces. You guys can just use normal ones if you'd like. You're going to need some slabs. You're going to need the jungle, all the jungle assortment, the leaves, and the jungle wood. So to start out here, you basically just do like I'm showing and connect it. So it's, it's sort, of, sort of easy to do. You just literally do that. And that, you gotta place upside down stairs. Sorry, I'll explain it. You just literally do this. You place an upside down stair, you have the slab on the top block like that, and you connect it over, and then you do the same on all three of the sides. And then on the bottom here, you go ahead and dig out your area you just sectioned off. Boom. And then you start your glowstone pattern. I'm gonna check right here and see where it starts. So it starts log, cobblestone, glowstone, log, cobblestone, glowstone, so log, make sure you bring that down, cobblestone, eh, glowstone right here, you don't need that log anymore, and then you basically, you just repeat a pattern, boom, 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 uh, boom, that's it. And under them, go ahead and just do your cobblestone blocks. I don't have blocks. I'm not going to grab them. I'm just going to use the slabs. And the time of explaining I'm using the slabs, I have finished. So go ahead and grab your spruce wood. Bring down your walls on your house so it doesn't look all funky. And then grab your slabs again and fill it in. So it gives sort of a glowy look without overpowering everything. Leave it open in front of the furnaces. And on top of here, everywhere there is not a glowstone block, you're going to use your cobblestone wall here and place a torch on top, so boom, 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 and boom, and just place your cobblestone, or your torches on top of the cobblestone walls, and that completes this sort of thing right here. Right here you have another brick fence, so let's go ahead and grab that, another brick. Uh, you can use normal fence if you'd like, and then right here you have the slabs, So this area over here is the kitchen, sort of food eating area. You guys can make a table in here if you can fit it. I could not find one that would fit. Grab your iron blocks and your iron door to make a little bit of a fridge here. So go ahead and place your door from the outside and then your iron blocks so it looks sort of like a fridge. Right here, grab some rails. Um, what you'll do is you'll put three furnaces right there. Grab your rails, throw those on top. And right here, you're gonna need these cobblestone stairs again. I'm actually gonna need a full block here, and you're gonna need a, a cobblestone walls. So build it one above, build a stair facing inwards like this, and then connecting them, and then basically adding this going up, and we will come outside and connect it. And then you can go ahead and grab the cobblestone right here, and sort of do a little bit of a smoky thing. If you don't have the smoke or the cobblestone, you can just, or cobweb, Jeez, I'm having trouble talking. You guys can just leave nothing there. It doesn't look too impressive, but I like the way it looks. And right here, you can grab some stairs, which we have on the roof, and sort of help it blend in like that. I kind of like that so it doesn't connect. So this is, it looks like a straight smokestack up. And that is virtually it for this. Oh, no, 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 it's not it. I completely just lied to your faces. I'm joking. I didn't lie. Um, I did lie. I just lied again. No, infinite lies. Uh, right here, you're going to place a 4x4 four four little area of logs. This can be sort of a log storage area or whatever you'd like, and you're going to need some spruce wood slabs. So go ahead and connect them all but the front, and then put fences on top of your logs. Add a spruce thing, spruce slab on top of those, and then connect them up top like this, sort of diagonally, so it gives a little bit of a little tiny village thingy and I'm gonna grab some uh, wheat bundle what is it called I don't actually know what it's called hay hay a hay bale yeah 
For some reason I thought it was called a wheat bundle. So you put those in there and it gives the appearance of a little storage hut. Or you can put some uh, logs in there, some different types of logs. It can look like a little log storage hut. And then I like to take some gravel here and connect it to the main path, sort of a broken path. And then right here, just do the same. And right here, you're going to grab some cobble stuff. Ooh, I did forget this. I did forget this. You grab your jungle uh, leaves and blocks. And on the outside here, place, um, place these facing up right outside of your wall. Make sure you connect it on the ends. I'm sort of derping up here. And all the way to that log. So let's make sure we do that over here. All the way to that log. And then go ahead and add your jungle leaves. So this gives sort of a bushy type appearance when you're looking through the cobblestone wall. So let's fly through here and you can just see kind of some bushes. And it looks good from the outside. It just gives sort of a more defined look. All right, so let's get on to this. So go ahead and grab your smooth stone slabs. Sorry, guys. I'm, this video is running a bit long, but it is a fairly big build. And I'm giving you all the details, so it is kind of hard to do in a short amount of time. Grab your slabs and build them out in sort of a... A shape like this it doesn't have to be exactly like this in fact uh, it can be a, a just just whatever shape like that like over here I did you know this kind of shape it can literally be whatever kind of shape you want whatever you want and in here I'd grab some pods all or grass if you don't have pods all you don't need to grab it because it's already in there and place it inside of here oh that was the last command I ran this will set it today boom and Go ahead and just place it all in here. And then you can just grab some assorted things. I'm just going to grab some random plants here. Acacia leaves, fence. Uh, let's do a little bit of a bush right here. Uh, then let's grab some... What do you guys want to do? Some blue orchids, some of these. Maybe some rose bushes, lilac, these. And just go to town with these plants. Whatever you really want to do. I'm sure it'll look good. And that's pretty much it. You guys could add some water in there, maybe some wheat, some melons. You guys could grow something outside of your house. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you'd like to see more cool tutorials like this and more, go ahead and subscribe. I try to upload daily during the summer, but of course when it's not the summer, it's a little bit harder, but I try to upload as often as I can. And yeah, you guys should build this uh, and post it on Twitter. That'd be quite impressive if you guys could build this exact thing and post it on Twitter. I'd really love to see that. I'd retweet it. Do all that cool stuff. You guys should follow me on Twitter. All that fancy stuff. The links for all that are in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.